Scour's disease. Its symptoms, predisposing factors, and control measures. Scour's is also known as white scour's or infectious diarrhea. Scour's affects calves, piglets, lambs, and kids in their first week of life. Symptoms White or yellowish diarrhea. Feces of affected animals have a pungent smell. Undigested milk and mucus with blood spots are observed in the feces. Dumb matter sticks to the hindquarters. Scours causes rapid fluid loss in calves, leading to severe dehydration. Signs of dehydration include sunken eyes, dry gums, and a lack of skin elasticity. Weakness and listlessness in the affected calves. Calves may have trouble standing or lack interest in suckling, putting them at risk for further complications. High temperatures in the animal's body. Loss of appetite. Weight loss. The predisposing factors that can make your calves more susceptible to scour's disease include poor feeding on inadequate colostrum, overfeeding the calf on milk, feeding calves on cold milk, feeding the calf at irregular intervals, poor hygiene, contaminated living conditions, dirty feeding equipment, and unsanitary water sources can introduce pathogens that cause scours to the calves' environment. Calves subjected to stress, such as abrupt weaning, transportation, or sudden changes in diet, are at higher risk for developing scours. Overcrowded and poorly ventilated housing conditions can promote the spread of the disease among calves. Control measures to combat scours. Ensure that every calf receives an adequate amount of colostrum within the first few hours of life. This provides essential antibodies that boost their immune system. Hygiene and sanitation. Maintain clean and hygienic living conditions for your calves. Regularly clean feeding equipment, provide fresh and clean water, and keep their environment free from fecal contamination. Avoid a damp floor. Disinfect fingers when training young animals to feed from the bucket. Replace milk with glucose mixed in water at a ratio of 1 to 1. Affected animals are treated with antibiotics. Stress reduction. Minimize stressors in your calf management practices. Gradual weaning, proper acclimatization, and minimizing transportation stress can help reduce the risk of scours. Isolation and treatment. Isolate affected calves promptly to prevent the disease from spreading. Provide rehydration therapy and, if necessary, antibiotics as per your veterinarian's recommendations. In conclusion, scours is a formidable enemy that requires swift action and a comprehensive approach to management. By recognizing the symptoms, addressing predisposing factors, and implementing effective control measures, you can protect your calves and safeguard your farm's success. Don't let scours run rampant on your farm, be vigilant and proactive in your battle against this debilitating disease.